Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at Jira's REST API to get the list of project roles. So today let us do something really interesting and uh, I say that in uh, all of my videos because when you're working with uh, Jira's REST API, you are doing a lot of interesting things and today I want to continue doing interesting thing and that is uh, uh, to get the list of uh, project roles and also different uh, users that you may have in those project roles in a specific project. Now in Jira Cloud uh, or maybe on Jira server there is a concept of project role and using project role you can basically build a team. Now when you create these project roles, these project roles are actually created uh, at the Jira level. So basically when you create a new role, this role is available for all the projects. However, after you add people to that particular role, what those people can do is decided by your permission scheme. But let us take a look at the roles today. And the first thing that I want to do, I want to do today is, uh, is basically I want to fetch the list of uh, project roles and then uh, the list of uh, different users in a specific project role. Now the endpoint is very simple, it is get, uh, the method is get, and then we have to use REST API 3 project, uh, followed by the project ID or key. And uh, you can do a few more things like, uh, if you want to fetch the list of roles, you can do slash role. And then if you pass in the role ID, you will then get uh, the list of users in that particular role. So I'll be using, of course, uh, the Talent API tester where I have uh, this uh, endpoint uh, defined here on top. So I'm trying to fetch the list of uh, uh, project roles for my IST project. Now, as I mentioned before, the project roles are, are global. So any project can use them. So in this particular case, if you look at this project, I just have two people right now. So uh, Ravi Sagar, which is me, of course, is now added as the administrator and the service desk team role. But I also have one more user, which is uh, fake me, Ravi Ocean, and uh, this user is uh, a project sponsor. But we also have other roles in uh, the, not only, not only in just this project, but in our Jira instance. So if I go back to my talent API tester and if I, run this uh, endpoint this uh, uh, with this URL. Uh, let us see what we get. So we get this list of uh, different project roles. So uh, we have different roles like administrator, service test team, service test customers, testers, and so on. And you can also find this list when you go to the uh, roles uh, in your Jira administration section. But the interesting thing is to find the list of users in a specific role. Now, the good thing about Talent DPI Tester is that it will give you this link, and this link is something that you can click on. So let us say if you are uh, interested in finding out uh, the service uh, desk uh, team members. So if you look at your uh, project role here right now, uh, my uh, service desk team role is assigned to Ravi Sagar. So if I go to my talent API tester, there should be one uh, role called as service desk team. And uh, the ID is uh, for this particular role is uh, 1006. And the good thing about talent API tester is that you can also click on this uh, link straight away. So if you click on this link, it will uh, give you, uh, it will basically hit this endpoint uh, so right now we are hitting this endpoint till uh, role. So 10013 is my project ID, followed by role, which is on top, of course. So I can also do 1003. I believe that is correct. Uh, sorry, 13. And if I click on the send button, it will basically give me the same thing because uh, uh, this is now giving us the ID. Now I can further pass in my, my project role ID and that is 1006. So if I do that 1000, not really 1006, but 10,006, or I should say 1006. 
And if I click on the send button, it will now give us the list of all the, uh, uh, I believe, uh, users who are part of uh, the uh, the role. So the, the role is, of course, uh, Jira Service Desk, and I can see my name here. You might also see some other uh, uh, users or maybe groups, but that depends on uh, your configuration. But uh, I basically wanted to know about this user, which is correct. Now, what if I, let, let me go back to the list and uh, I'll run this for maybe a different role. So let me run this for my project sponsor. And if I simply click on this, it will actually uh, now give me this uh, user. So right now in my project sponsor role, I have Ravi Ocean, which is my user. I may want to add uh, maybe a different user. Maybe I'll just add Ravi Sagar to this uh, project sponsor role. And uh, it, it, it is, I believe, added. Yes, it is now added. And if I go back to the same endpoint, I can see that it is now giving us two users. One is, of course, uh, Ravi Sagar, and the other one is uh, Ravi Ocean. You can also do the same thing with a group. So you uh, may want to add maybe your Jira core users to your uh, project sponsors role. So this is a really good thing about uh, project role or building a team. You can uh, not only use individual users, but also groups. And uh, if we go back to the same endpoint, and if I click on the send button, now it will give us the group name. So basically, when you add people to your roles, it is basically adding an actor. So an actor could be just one user, like actor user which is uh, identified by a unique account ID, or an, or an actor can be uh, your group. And you can see the group name here. So this is something really interesting that I wanted to uh, show you today. And if you're, if you're following my uh, Jira REST API playlist, uh, I'm basically trying to show you different things that you can, different cool things that you can do with the uh, REST API. Uh, because uh, using REST API, you can do automation. You can basically do things programmatically. And uh, when you're maybe trying to integrate Jira with a different tool, or maybe you're trying to import data in Jira, or maybe you're trying to pull something out of Jira, you can uh, definitely use REST API. And having this knowledge of uh, uh, Jira REST API is really important. And that is what I'm trying to do in my, uh, in my playlist. So I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Uh, thank you very much.